so as you know i actually really enjoy reviewing aquarium filters and this one caught my eye because it's very very different to any other internal aquarium filter i've encountered on the outset of it it just looks like any other any other filter doesn't it but it's totally weird and unusual and I'm really excited to look at this with you. Here's some of the bits and pieces off the side of the box in case you are interested in reading it. Now opening it up just feels like any other box opening on an aquarium filter to be honest. We've got some sponge, we've got a bit of pipe work for the Venturi, we've got some suction pads and mounting blocks and then in the box out comes the filter. Here is our user manual. Now the keen-eyed viewers will have already noticed something as to why I think this is a weird filter. It's in the name, 4-in-1 Aquarium Internal Filter. What it's saying is this filter does four things. So let's take a look at this filter and fish keepers. What do you notice here that you've never seen before on an aquarium internal filter? That is right, we have two outlets. So rather than just having the one outlet, like 99.9% .9 of every other filter on the planet has, we've got two. So that means the water flows out of the filter in two directions. Kind of creating a nice little vortex effect, I guess. And if you have this in the corner of your tank, like most people do, it will blast water along the back edge of your aquarium and also blast water along the front. And that just gives you a nice complete aquarium coverage for water flow and it also stops a lot of the build up you get on the back of your aquarium sort of along the gravel where you're going to get all that muck and debris build up this should displace it there is this included in the packet and that allows you to block that one up it does go in yeah so it blocks it up i'm not going to push it all the way in blocks it up and then you just have the one outlet but that's actually another feature which we'll get onto in a second. Another way of setting this up, so if that was the first way with double outputs, the second way of setting it up is we can use a Venturi. Now these aren't actually new inventions. A Venturi is essentially a way of dragging oxygen into your aquarium. So what you do is you attach this bit of tubing onto that pipe there you have this above the water with a little airflow adjuster so you can adjust the amount of water that goes in. So yeah, Venturis aren't anything new but they're nice to have and they're pretty useful on hot days where you need to get extra oxygen into your aquarium. One thing that I absolutely love seeing, especially on internal filters, there are no slots up the side of this filter. What does that mean? It means the slots are on the bottom here. On other filters, you actually get slits going up the sides or the fronts of the filter, which allows water in and it allows it to bypass your filter media. On this one, it, they're all on the bottom, which means the water has to pass through 100% of your media before it can be blasted back into your aquarium. It's a really well thought out design. So let's start taking it apart and see what's inside. Plastic wise, it is a hard black plastic. It doesn't feel super cheap it does feel quite rugged the bottom should just twist off Whoa, yeah there it is so there we can see the little basic bottom and in terms of accessing the media it just all twists apart look so in the bottom section we've got a sponge this is a black sponge very coarse i don't believe it's impregnated with any carbon or anything like that and on this section We've got more sponge and a little bag of biomedia. This is obviously where the bacteria lives. Now I've got to say this is the cutest little aquarium bag I've ever seen. It's kind of like a silvery sparkly material. It's obviously not specifically designed for aquarium filters. I imagine wherever this filter is produced or maybe even in the same factory they've got a little gift um, bag factory as well creating these bags or they package up something else designed for something completely different because this is not what you normally find in your aquarium filter um, yeah I guess they're repurposing maybe from a different factory who knows but the media is in there and that's the important thing there is an awful lot of 
space in this filter I might actually want to put some finer filter mesh in there or maybe some more biological media you, you can do that should you wish so that's the media and then we get on to the impeller now it has all twisted apart so far so I'm assuming access to the impeller is done in the same way it is we've got a ceramic shaft which means we can use this in a marine tank as well although these bolts are stainless steel they probably would rust but I doubt we'd ever need to access in there and we've got a little impeller pretty simple you see these types everywhere so should be easy to replace if we need to but importantly it's easy to access and put back together so that was the first second and possibly third way of using this using this filter I mean it is a bit generous when it says it's a four-in-one because two of them are just as a basic filter one of them is using both the outlets but the fourth one is the one that really surprised me and that's the fact this base bit comes off you can stick it over that and now what you have is a power head just a power head um, and on the product page it actually says that you can use this as a water pump to do water changes which is awesome because it means if you want to do a water change you're going to be taking your filter media off anyway most likely to give it a clean and while you're doing that you pop the bottom bit onto the filter connect a hose it looks like 16 millimeter standard hosing and then that can drain your aquarium water and then when you want to refill it if you've got a bucket of water you can pop this in there and it will refill your aquarium as well so that is the most useful function I think other than it working as a normal filter right awesome little design and I will be using this as a power head because I think it's just pretty cool but one thing I am intrigued by is just to see what this double outlet looks like so I've set it into power head mode as I'm going to call it from now on and then I'm going to put this mounting bracket on it just goes on the back really easily like that so I'm just going to install it on my um, my Botra Cladia tank here although it's mainly full of Cladophora at the moment because there is a lack of flow in here we can see it's actually causing a little bit of algae build up in the corner there I just want to add a little bit more flow all right so there it is installed and we'll just turn it on and see how much of a difference it makes to the flow in this tank on it goes so it's turned on you can immediately see now there's some water movement upset the blending that lives in there so that will start pushing water through there and then we'll also have water movement along the back exactly what I needed and this is actually I think its greatest feature and it is quite a strong current it's stronger out the front than it is out the side and obviously if I plug, plug that hole up you can see immediately yes it's a lot stronger and obviously it's been designed to go into a corner of an aquarium because then you get the flow in both directions I don't know how they would do it but it would be nice to be able to like rotate a bit of air coming out rotate the base so um, so that you could choose the direction of the of the uh, of the outlets maybe but as a start I think this is a really good design and I've never doing some maintenance while I'm in a I've never seen anything like this I don't know about you but um, this thing absolutely blowing my mind so if you made it to the end of the video thank you so much you are my VIPs I hope you've enjoyed it and once again thanks for watching